I think spaces like this really show that UT Southwestern is invested in innovating curriculum. The university was founded on education. Education in medicine has changed a lot. So basically nothing's going to move. Nothing's going to move, right. The university has grown extraordinarily in all aspects. Our clinical venues have increased in size and our faculties doubled in size. We have had needs to keep up with modern technology and the university has made considerable investment in that. Team-based learning is one of the investments they've made in education recently. This is the library building, and so this all used to be racks of books and, and old uh, journal articles. Um, and so much of that has now gone digital, and so the space was kind of underutilized. I'm not saying that's the case this time. As a course director, uh, I, I saw this space and realized the potential of it and, and was very much interested in maximizing the availability and the utilization of this space. Uh, for my courses and it has been a, a godsend, it really has. It has facilitated the ability of students to work together. When I first walked into this space, I think what really struck me was all of the impressive technologies that are available, seeing a TV at every table for six or seven students, all the TVs along the walls and all of, the, I guess, the really advanced state-of-the-art capabilities that were available. I was just really impressed by it. You want the space to fit your group. And so we've designed the, our TBL spaces to be very flexible. Even the very large TBL sp space can be cut into thirds. And so it gives us lots of opportunity to meet the needs of both small and large groups. Anticholinergic toxicity is fairly common. I'm here with a group of fourth year medical students who are on their EM rotation and we are running through some emergency medicine cases, um, having them work through the differential diagnosis as we present different uh, aspects of the case. Maybe we want to call CVTS in this patient, okay? And in every class, we have what's called a TBL, or a team-based learning session. We didn't necessarily ask for two large four IVs. And it's really cool because we'll get to go through cases like we kind of would if we were in the hospital. And your heart rate is 80. Go through a case and see their history and their vitals and kind of figure out together what we think we should do to manage that patient. What definitive testing? Not only do we get patient information that we need to make certain diagnoses. We call that the D sign, okay? They can show us radiographic imaging, like CT scans. Percentage is grams per 100 mils. The video equipment and the audio equipment associated with it allows us to project that content to the entire rest of the room. And so we can accommodate about 240 students or so in this space, and that is more than enough to cover the entire, an entire year's worth of, of uh, medical students. So this podium allows me to uh, interact with the students in a number of ways. And so one of the ways is through this camera mount. This is a, uh, a way in which I can, can basically draw things uh, on, a, on a piece of paper. And what I can also do is I can throw out uh, an image that a student may have on their own monitor screen, such as one of these. Each table is equipped with a microphone and monitor that the students can project their work to. The instructor has control over all those monitors and can project everything or something, so it's very flexible. We have 39 tables here, and so all 39 tables would be able to see what one individual student has on their own machine. The ability to work as a team, to have discussions, to uh, very dynamically see what's going on uh, through all the different views we have is something I've really appreciated and think has been really excellent. You can tell that the institution put in a lot of effort into all of the technology and the design to make it as interactive as possible. Teaching has, has remained a, a core value of the university and it's reflected in, in this space as well as other investments, the simulation facility and, and other things that have gone in in the last several years. Medicine is a team activity. There's all the different toxidromes, right? And we have to be able to work in teams, problem solve in teams. And by being able to present didactics in this manner, we're training our students to function on teams in a collaborative way, which I think is key to being a successful physician later on. It's cool to be able to have a space and a time to come together and make that happen in an educational setting.